Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to downgrade your iPhone 3GS to iOS 4.1 untethered. Let's get started. So, for this downgrade, you don't need any specific 3GS model. Um, for computer, I'm going to be demonstrating this on a Mac, although you can download the same application and do the same thing on Windows. Now, you are, if you don't already, you are going to need um, an AT&T SIM card. It's got to be this big type of SIM card. What this card will do is it is it it's what lets you activate the phone. So after the restore, um, the phone will not let you activate it unless you already you either already have a SIM card in it or there is a SIM card in it. The SIM card does not need to be active, but you do need to have like an AT&T SIM card in order to activate in the first place. You're also going to need your computer to activate iOS 4 if you guys don't already know how to do this. Um, you simply just stick the device in the computer with the SIM card in it and then it will activate it for you. First thing you're going to want to do is plug your iPhone 3GS in your computer. I'm using a dock um, that plugs into the computer but otherwise it doesn't really matter. Alright, so... So, before we get started, you're going to need three things on your computer. The Red Snow, iTunes, and the F IPSW Restore file for iOS 4.1. So, the first thing you're going to need to do is on your iPhone. On your iPhone, you're going to need to hold Home and Power. Just like that. And you're going to need to keep holding them until it goes black. Now you're going to count to four, then you're going to let go of the power button, and then you're just going to keep holding home till on your computer iTunes comes up saying <laughs> it found a device in restore mode. All right, hey, iTunes just did it. Let's get back. All right, so on your computer, you're going to need to hit go to iTunes. If you're on Mac, you're going to hold alt slash option. If you're on Windows, you're going to hold shift. Now, while you're holding Alt or Shift, hit Restore. You're going to see an open window come up. Just simply go to the directory where your IPSW is stored and click on it and click Open. Now you're going to see iTunes will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 4.1. Press Restore. Now you can see at the top, it'll say Extracting Software. Now you just have to let the restore go through. iPhone cannot be restored and you can see the iPhone 3GS just went into recovery mode. Do not worry. This is normal. Just simply press OK and then and then quit iTunes. Now you're going this is where Red Snow comes in. Open up Red Snow and you can see it detected the phone. Now, you're going to need to put your phone back into DFU mode like we had it in at the start. Just hold the buttons, and you can see a screen will go off. Then, then go back into DFU mode. Wait till Red Snow says iPhone 3GS DFU mode. As you can see, it just said iPhone 3GS DFU mode. And then iTunes launched because it saw DFU mode too. So, just quit out of iTunes, press extras. Now, press just boot. Now you can see it says exploiting with lime rain. And just let it do its thing. It will upload first stage, uploading second stage, waiting for reboot. And then you can see, see the iPhone screen lit up. Now you can see it patched the files, screen went white. Now you can see we got the Red Snow logo. That is good. That means we are booting into iOS. 
you are only going to need to do this once. Um, you, th once you press just boot, um, it'll boot into iOS. Now you're going to want to have your SIM card ready. You're going to want to have your SIM card and tools ready. So, there you can see we still got the Red Snow logo. And we are going to be, now you can see, we are booted in to iOS 4. Now, you can see we are in. We are going to take our SIM ejection tool, pop the tray out. We're going to put the card in the phone. We're going to put the, our SIM in the tray and put it in our phone. And then you can see we got network bars and now now this is where I where we need iTunes. So open iTunes on your computer and wait till it says um wait till it come comes up saying that it shows found your new iPhone. Now you can see our iPhone is activated and you can see on iTunes, it says, success, your iPhone has been unlocked. Set up and sing this phone, press continue. And you just set it up as an iPhone. Phone. So, that has been how to downgrade your iPhone 3GS. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Bye.